Let's play deck. Hey, Brad. What's your favorite flavor of Castlevania? My favorite flavor is simple. My favorite is super. <laughs> What's your experience with this game? Have you even played it? Yeah, you let me borrow it for a while. Oh, don't remember that at all. Did you beat it? No. <laughs> Why? Yeah. It's not It's not like it's long. Yeah. Or a big time investment. Yeah. And then you're like, hey, Symphony of Night's awesome. But it's like 20 hours, right? Uh, that's because it is awesome. And it's beautiful. I don't doubt Everything it. about that game is cool. I remember one time in high school, you were like, yeah, I was playing Symphony of Night on my PSP in class. And like, and like the teacher got mad at you or something? Yep. That was funny. It's like, who, like, how many people in the world can say that a teacher's gotten mad at them for that? I don't know, man. Just don't... Kids, don't use your stuff in class, because when the teacher makes you get up and give it to them, it's like this long walk to the uh, front of the class, and it's yeah, the it's most probably not, not great, so great dignity-wise. <laughs> You're like, Here I am with my PSP in hand. <laughs> Um, I'm sure you got it back after school, though. Nah. <laughs> no, <laughs> he just kept it. He knew that Symphony of Night was on it. He's like, shit, I'm keeping this. No, I got it back. Uh, but I'm not in school anymore, so fuck you guys. There's a frog. There it goes. Frogs suck in this game. It's always, like, the tiny, stupid, insignificant rodents that just, like... He's gonna run into it. You think so? He's gonna, if he makes a big leap. Think he's gonna do it? God damn it, okay, he's gonna do it now. Yeah, there he goes. He's Whip. dead. There he goes, he's done. Uh, yeah, but it's like the stupid little animals that you wouldn't expect that just kill your ass in this game. Like, bats are the Birds. worst. Birds. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, skeletons, of all things. Oh, good, you got the cross. That's the best one. Yeah, except it doesn't really... It's like when you when you get the wrong weapon in this game, like you hit a candle and it's like not what you want, and it's it's not that big of a deal. Like, it really isn't. I love the way those birds explode. Okay. Cut that out. No! <laughs> uh, we're back. Okay, we're back. There was a disturbance in the forest. We had to go rescue a kitten. <laughs> There's a disturbance. <laughs> person across the street was like, LPD, help! And we sprung into action. We were like, LPD! Uh, if only our lives were that amazing. Uh, instead, instead, we just sit around and play Castlevania 4. Every day playing Let's Plays is amazing, Brad. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think you just gotta one-up. I can't really complain. Anyway, here's Medusa. Or something like that. The Gorgon lady. Don't look her in the eye. She's really not that hard. Wow, you kept your whip out, and she was like, you're rocking out with your whip out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Hmm, uh. today's full of interruptions. <laughs> What's going on with that? Oh, crap, I erased my ringtone. I thought, I thought you had the... I thought your tone was a lot cooler. It like, is. It was, uh... It was the Metal Gear Solid ringtone, but I accidentally erased it. Oh, I like that. But anyway, here's these, uh... These spikes that kill you, <laughs> that one-shot you. Ugh. Mega Man style. Look, you know what? Would you get the money, Brad? No. What is fucking... He's got a family to feed. He can't just, like... What, the uh, Simon it's, Belmont? It's only I, don't seven. Think he's, I don't think he's expecting to live through this. That's only $700. What, whatever. Or maybe he is expecting to live through it, since, oh, like, his brothers expecting. did it. Like, his brothers are super buff and, like... He's the They're like, if you can't do this, you're like the weak one of the family. And he's like, I'm prove I'm wrong! <laughs> Dracula! I'll get you! I'll get you. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah. I love the way these guys die. They're I know. Like, oh, God. They're super threatening and their sprites are huge, but they just take one hit. They take one hit and they fall they're over. They're kind of wimps, yeah. Watch out. Go up. So did you know? <laughs> what, do, what did I not know? That we're on to stage three already. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Lim. I wasn't aware. 
that's the path we're gonna take up to stage three. You're right. Now, here's the d thing, Brad. What? Watch out for water. It will kill you. No, it won't. Although, those, something very similar to that will. Those platforms look just like... Metroids. <laughs> what? Wait till you see him again. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mudman! <laughs> yeah. It's this guy. That makes the game, like, slow to a fucking crawl. Every time. Like, it's not like, oh, sometimes this happens. It's every time it does that. I like the, uh... How a lot of the monsters in this game are, like... Like, classic monsters, like the Mudman and... Oh, yeah. I mean, Castlevania, like... That's the whole point. It, like, checks all the boxes when it comes to, like, monster movie cliches. And, uh, annoying things to do during L LPs. <laughs> what do you mean? See, look, they're like Metroids. What? Where? Right? The okay, jump over. No, 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 over there. Oh, these platforms? Yeah. I guess. Yeah, like, they kind of they kind of look noses. like jellyfishy, like with the tops there and like the little horns. Yeah. Yeah. I can sort of see it. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you proud of that? Man? D um. It's not that amazing. Wait. Yeah. Blow up those. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there's like, there's a couple hidden areas in the game, and this is one of them. Well, it's not really hidden, it's very easy to find. Did you know what, uh, your whip is called? A whip? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Vampire killer. What? Yeah. Wait, the whip, like a sword, like when you give a sword a name or something, right. like the whip has a name? Right, it's Vampire killer. Where did you learn this? Maybe in Symphony of Night it is. No, it's definitely called Vampire killer. Hey, sources, please. <laughs> where, where, where did you find that out? Uh, it's mentioned a couple of times in some place. Symphony of Night. Maybe. Let me uh, give what, it. A, give me a second. What, what exactly, as far as Castlevania goes, have you played outside of Symphony of the Night? Symphony of the Night. This, uh, the GBA, all three of the GBA games and all three of the DS games. And oh, wow, much more than I thought. Yeah. I haven't played any of the portable ones. They're just, they're all, even the GBA ones are just Metroidvania style, right? Yep. Yeah. But they're good shit, especially, uh, uh, fuck, I don't know, what is it called? All the titles are super weird, Harmony of they're all Despair and the, yeah. Symphony of Sorrow or whatever, I don't know. I think it's Aria of, Aria of Souls or something like that, but there's one where you play as this white, Japanese white dude with a white coat with white hair and... Oh, white skin. Um, and <laughs> thanks for that image. And he can like absorb, so like he can absorb souls from enemies and like take their powers. And that one's really cool. That one's really really cool. All right, I'll, okay, I'll take. I'll look it up and then I'll really, tell you which one it is. Really really cool. The titles are never cool though. They always sound, they they kind of sound like like some kid in high school. If you like, if he writes a novel or something, like that's what he calls it. Like harmony of dissonance or whatever, like some esoteric shit that like some deviant art just poetry means, name. Yeah, it means nothing, pretty much. Deviant art poetry name that's like the blackness in my heart and they, burns yeah, like they, a thousand suns. They think they're like so uh, amazing, like writers. <clears throat> the vampire killer is the legendary whip wielded by several heroes of the Belmont clan. The whip was originally less powerful magic weapon created with alch alchemy. By Rinaldo Gandolfi, pre prior to prior to Castlevania: Lament of Innocence, known as the Whip of Alchemy. Eventually, it was transformed into a far, far more powerful weapon after the death of Sarah Trontul, the betrothed of Leon Belmont, wielder of the Whip of Alchemy. Sarah, who had fi fatally cur been fatally cursed with vampirism, had to willingly sacrifice herself to make the Whip whole and be able to defeat vampires. This was because the whip was needed a willing yet tainted soul to unlock its true potential. Boom! <laughs> Vampire motherfucking killer. What I'd like to know is where that comes from. Uh, Lament of Innocence. Okay. It's the Xbox game, I believe. The Xbox? Yeah, there's an original one. There's like an original Xbox uh, uh, Castlevania game that takes place in the year 1000. Whoa. Uh-huh. Uh, Shit dates back far, bruh. Yeah, there's one... There's one where, like... 
the what Mount Fuji, right? Where it, like yes. just just yeah. becomes Dracula's domain. That's the new one. <laughs> that's fantastic. Like which one? Which one is that? I want to play that. That's the one with the white kid and the white hair. Oh, okay, the Japanese kid. Yeah. All right. He makes uh, sense because it takes place in Japan. Right. He's like. uh... It comes out of, like, they seal it in the moon, and then it comes out of the moon on an eclipse. That's amazing. Aria of Sorrow. Aria, okay. Like, like Game of Thrones Aria? Yeah. A -R well, A-R-I-A. -A. Oh, so spelled slightly different. Well, it's it's an aria. Like, it's a it's symphony. It's, it's a type of music. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah, it follows it follows Soma Cruz, who does some stuff and can absorb people. It's really cool. You get all sorts of powers. Like every enemy that shows up in this also shows up in that, and you can get their powers and like become them and stuff. It's cool. In in uh, Super Castlevania Four? No, in every enemy that shows up in like Super Castlevania Four and Symphony of the Night also shows up in that game. Jesus and Christ, you can man. like absorb their powers. I I really do have to play um. Symphony of the Night, like oh yeah, I've never heard somebody be like, oh yeah, it's, eh, Symphony of the Night's just okay. No, it's like fucking everybody who game. plays it is like, nope, this is amazing. It was literally the first. What do you mean? It's like the first of its kind, besides Super Metroid. <laughs> besides, yeah, Super Metroid pretty much did it. Uh, I guess Metroid One did it before Ugh. Super Metroid, but Super Metroid perfected it. Um. Yeah, but in that game, like, you can get that little, like, the little skeletons that throw the bones at you. Yeah. They're in there, and you can get them. They're one of the first guys you get, and then their power is throw bones, and you can throw bones. <laughs> now, okay, I assume that's a very weak, like, beginning or beginner level attack. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but I know you start, start out the game, like, all beefed up, and, uh... And then you become like. Crappy. Oh no, Aria of Sorrow and Symphony of the Night are. You don't get enemy powers in Symphony of the Night. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you do start the game all beefed up. Speaking of beef, there's some right now. <laughs> uh, you do start the game all beefed up. Um, or a chicken? I'm not really sure. A turkey? Pork? <laughs> onions? <laughs> could be any onions, could be anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, you do start the game all beefed up, and then Death, Death shows up, and he's like. You will not reach my master's domain. And then you're like, Death, right hand man to Dracula. And he's like, I will take your powerful weapons. Oh, you as in like voice this. acting? Like you're, they, that's what he actually sounds yep. like? That's amazing. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Yeah, it's also... I know I probably shouldn't want to play those games for the voice acting, but I really do. Oh, that's one of the main appeals. Yeah. Have you seen that scene? From from Symphony of Night? Yeah. What is a man? What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. It's so good. They make reference to that in the end of Aria of Sorrow. Well, in... in the game has multiple endings, and in one... Um, in one... So at the end of that s scene in Symphony of the Night, he's like, But enough talk! Have at you! And he throws his wine glass on the ground and stands up. Yeah. In one of the endings of uh, Aria of Sorrow, it's like a Belmont like marches up to Dracula, and he's like, I've come to destroy you uh, like I am fated to. And Dracula stands up and throws his wine glass on the ground. <laughs> That's funny. Like Dracula drinks wine. He just does. He drinks wine or blood, who knows. Wow, you really destroyed that thing. Yeah, who knows what that thing is. You I whipped straight through I really, it. I honestly through the didn't know it was there. By the way, that skull. Fuck off, skulls. That skull is just. Also, by the way, next time we'll be back. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See ya.